Hello, welcome to another video of the Excel pivot table series. In this particular video, we are going to create a dynamic report. The questions that we are going to be answering are how are we trending in sales month on month? And we're going to also look at this in terms of year to year, right? So for example, I can select one year and then look at the monthly trend of it. Now in 2013, we have 12 months. In 2014, we have 12 months. And in 2015, we have three months. So let's see how our chart is going to be looking like. The concepts that we are going to be covering are pivot tables, automatic grouping, report layout, repeat all items, name manager, create from selection. Now we're going to do these two steps or these three steps really quickly. In case you want to watch detailed steps and do not understand any steps, within these three concepts you can watch my previous video and there i've covered these concepts in detail the focus in this particular video is going to be around creating charts on top of pivot summary which is an extension to what we've covered in the previous video so the data we have customer id transaction date and transaction amount and then what we're going to do is first we're going to create the holding table or the temporary table on which we are going to build our report or chart so i'll begin by inserting a pivot table i'm going to call this as pivot summary then i'm just going to expand this a little bit i'm going to take transaction date to this particular area transaction amount to this one I'm going to remove quarters and then this will be extended. Then what I can do is go to the report layout. Say do not show subtotals, do not show grand totals. The report layout should be in tabular form and in repeat all items. Now I've covered these concepts in detail in my previous video. In case you want to watch it, please go, uh, go and watch out that video. Next, I'm going to call this as retail years retail month retail sales then i'm also going to create this as a whole name for it the whole table and i'm going to say retail summary and, and say enter so now we have basically retail summary and then we have retail data which is here now this one uh, again i'm going to create name from selection because we have this retail summary already, but we're going to also create name from selection so that we get the individual column names such as month, years, and sales. So now we have this data and the table, intermediate table set up. What we need to do is create the dashboard. Now this is where we're going to now utilize what we have created here, or the names we have created here to build the dashboard. So for building the dashboard, obviously we want to give it a name so what we'll do is let me just expand this and I'm going to like select this entire place here. I'm going to merge and close it or rather I'm just going to say this much and say merge cross and center. And I'm also going to give this a title such as this. Let's say retail sales trend. Now we're going to use a simple chart in this particular scenario so that it's usable and you can also implement it easily. Then I'm going to go to the view tab and uncheck the grid line so that we have a blank space here. And now what we need to do is basically extend some of this here. So we can, okay, let's say year here, right? And then we can do a year selection here, right? So it will be something like 2013 and so on for, right? So this is our selection we can say select here right and then we can give this a nice formatting probably let's say this one and then obviously we want to get the chart here so that we have this information and to build the data or the chart what we will do is i'll go to the right hand side here and let me just hide some columns here so that you can see what's happening probably yeah, this much should be sufficient right so what we're going to do here now is get the months that we have right so go to this pivot summary here get the months and paste it here then i'm going to take the sales then i'm going to get apply some ifs right so it's going to be some ranges obviously going to be the retail sales and then I want to also say retail month. Month, I'm going to get it from here. And second, I'm going to say retail 
years, I'm going to get it from this place and I'm going to fix this one. If I close it, I basically get this information where I can just drag it down and then I can format this to show comma separated values. I'm going to do this one, one, two, and basically now it's formatted well. So now what we'll do is we'll obviously insert a chart here and I'm just going to take a column chart or probably I can take a line chart, but yeah, column chart is also sufficient enough for us now, right? So I'll place the chart here and we can choose a format such as this or yeah, probably this is good enough where we select that and then we can select these labels to decrease the size and say probably we will add something to it. So I'll say right click and say format labels and let's see what formatting we can do. So we can say fill value, solid fill of some black color or something like that. So that way we the, the numbers are visible here, right? So we have the sales chart that is available. And now obviously if you really want to convert this into a filter, what we can do is go to the data tab and say data validation. And I'm going to say list and say 2013 comma 2014 comma 2015 and say okay to have the selection ready, right? And I can just format this separately so that user knows that this is what you're going to select. So if I select 2014, 2014 data will show up. And if I show 2015, 2015 data will show up. And as we progress in the years, this particular information will be visible. We can also try to and show some other charts, but yeah, for this particular scope of video, you know, we're just going to show only the ones that are really helpful for us, right? So if you extend the chart, it usually extend it. So I'm just going to reduce the size and just place it enough here, right? So that way we have this information and the other charts are visible here, right? So this way we created a simple chart where we are able to build a simple drop down here and show the data. And obviously the concept here is that we are using the pivot summary data to build the dashboard. So whenever you have data refreshed here, what you can do is paste the data here, go back to the pivot table and say refresh and you'll see that the dashboard will update according, right? So for example, let me just show you one simple example. Let's say I'm just going to add a customer say XXX and I'm going to give this as let's say 15th April 2020, maybe 2015 as per this. And then let's add, let's say, you know, 100K information here, right? So just imagine multiple rows getting added here. And then if I go and refresh the pivot there, you'll see that this information is coming here. And then if you go to the chart, show 2015, you'll see that the April months information got added automatically, right? So that's how that information will flow through. And if I delete it, you'll see that if I go back to my pivot, refresh it, it's deleted. And if I go to the chart, it's deleted, right? So that's really that simple. If data is added, it's a matter of deleting the rows or adding the rows and you'll automatically get your dynamic chart. The only thing to take care is the additional blank columns that we have here. And that's a topic for another video. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please smash that like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.